war. War never changes. It just pisses me off this because like there are all these people that all oh, the good of humanity and helping everybody. You don't see everybody down here, do you? What is she even testing? Nathan Fillion? Nothing. At this oh. point she's just doing it for fun. Rushed work is sloppy at best and deadly at worst. Hmm. Gripping. Please tell me more. I just I'm not a big fan at all. Really exciting having you here. I can't wait to see what you can do. Huh? Excuse me, Doctor. Hmm? Oh, hi there. Sorry if I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. Okay. What kinds of blueprints? Mostly components for a new plasma pistol concept I've been toying with. High energy weapons are sort of a hobby of mine. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father. And that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. What can I say? I just dumped my balls into his mother and she made him. It was quite the cauldron. Oh, sorry. Not my intention to mess things. Uh, I might take some of your shit, though. No. One day, I'll design a more efficient reactor to replace that old bunker in the basement. Ah, oh, I'm too fat. Dr. Orman. If you ask me, I'm only scratching the surface with the latest sense. Well, if you ask me, uh, I'm going to take everything that's not nailed down. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. Right. So they sold for 50. Whoa. Are they... I don't know what that means, really. How heavy is that? That's pretty heavy for a suit. It sells for 65, though, so I should probably drop some of the pistols. 3.9, 3.9. There we go. Anything in here? No. Right. Enough of the Blade Runner shit, I want some answers. Madison Lee. Lee. Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. I'm a father's father, bitch. That's like sister's sister, only not douchey. I thought you wanted to talk. Well, when the menus disappeared, I thought I'd come closer to you, so they'd pop back up and they didn't, because this game is fantastically designed. Madison, now talk, Excuse bitch. Excuse me, Dr. Lee. Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. No shit. Actually, I was looking for you. Me? Why? I think you're sexy, baby. Wanna to touch my uh, shoulder blade thing? I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to find you. You don't beat around the bush, I'll give you that. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. Uh... If I wanted to kill you, we wouldn't be talking. That's a fair point. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. Are you happy here? You'd think, being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What no. does that have to do with why we're talking? Basically, I have a very thick dick. And I want to share it with you. And a one-time offer. The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seem to have everything under control when I left. Uh... The Brotherhood is having problems, and we need your help. I don't see how that's my problem. Tell it's me not. something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Did you hear me mention the whole thickness of my penis? It's a pretty good reason. Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. Why don't we change that? Take off your clothes. Uh, we don't lie. I don't know how charismatic I am without my uh, my coat. You're wasting your oh, breath. I'm a scientist, up. not a soldier. The okay. Brotherhood desired my creations in order to destroy, to take control. 
I'm not interested in returning to that way of life. Okay. I give up. What would it take to convince you? All right. I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here, a Dr. Virgil. Several months ago, Ooh, there was Virgil. an accident in his lab, and he was killed. I wanted to help with the investigation, but Father had the laboratory sealed, saying that it was contaminated. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more I felt like Father was deflecting my questions. If you bring me solid information on what killed him, I'll take it as a favor from the Brotherhood and consider your offer. Do we have a deal? I know this may come as a shock, but Dr. Virgil is still alive. I met him myself. <laughs> oh, please. Do you really think a cheap tactic like that is going to work on someone like me? Stop trying to avoid the legwork by lying. Oh. Either you get me the evidence, or we have nothing else to talk about. I want to shoot this woman in the face. Deal. All right. Dr. Virgil's lab was in the biosciences division. I can give you a code that will get you into the section, but the lab itself has been sealed, so you'll have to breach it on your own. I'd tell cool. you to be quiet about it, but your brotherhood and discretion isn't exactly your strong suit. I'm not and finally, brotherhood at all. If you get caught, we never had this conversation. Did now, you not, not see that video where I shot that guy and he all got mad at me? Pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. What they call it relaying? Cool. Thank you. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. Ooh. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two of us. Now, so I need to get mean back I can, uh, and I'm sure you have other things. Relay your asshole. Is that a no? Oh, baby, don't walk away from me. Uh, go away, bitch. I want to take this. This is day eight of trial six. The last week has been very productive, but exhausting. I think we'll need a break after this. Benet has done some really marvelous work with the personality mesh. It's... well, it, it's almost too good. The responses map almost identically to expectations, some of the most lifelike I've seen. Of course, it's not really Sean. None of his memories are in there. That, even now, would be a step too far. It's starting to have an effect on the team, I think. I know I've been caught up in the moment once or twice. Just a second or two, forgetting that he's not a real boy. I'm a real boy! Still, I think we'll need to consider restricting him to the lab only for the moment. I'm well aware that others are, are put off by his presence. <laughs> if I were slightly more arrogant, I might consider that a sign of success. I mean, sure, he touched a few children, but he made a great music. Hey, who are we talking about here? The Mac and Jackson! Uh, Alright, where are we going? We need to pick one, I guess. We've got two to choose from. So let's... Bioscience, was that where it wanted me to go? Hi there. Excuse me. Yes? Oh, you just wanted to get past me? Oh, I thought I was interesting. Damn it! Right. Institute Bioscience, let's do it. I like Bioscience. So uh, science, science of bio, right? Is it just a abbreviation of biological science? This looks like. Huh. I assume this is their hydro. Whoa! That's a synth. Mankind redefined. It's catchy, isn't it? You synthed a silverback. <laughs> Are you stupid? That dude will fuck you up. He's gonna shit in your bread bin, that man. I'm gonna let him out. <laughs> Come on, boys! <laughs> oh, never mind. I can't do that shit. Hacking this is beyond me. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it looks like Institute Hydroponics. Well, that's a 
question best left to our colleagues in the robotics division. Yes, well... I suppose you're right. Humanity's future is taking root right here. Get it? I'm so punny! Doctor. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Bioscience. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Can I let them out? <laughs> Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. With hard work and ingenuity, any challenge can be overcome. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? No, nope. I'm not sure. Right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In Get with a boot like Vitruvian man symbol. Yes. Or if you prefer, I yeah, great. Keep talking. Just keep talking. He's so interesting. Hmm. So much stuff to steal, not enough space to carry it. Bioscience terminal? What if this is where all the gossip is? I was banging Linda from from the other science bit. She's a dirty bitch. I love her. I'll take a coarser outfit. Need to drop some shit. I'm holding onto her hair like this and I'm sticking it to her like this. Oh, maybe not. It's, it's one of those kind of outfits. Damn it. The hell do I have that so have I got a ton of oh, I've got a shit ton of junk. <laughs> of course I have, I was picking it up from here. What's the heaviest shit I've got? Uh this stuff. Okay. The good news is we know it'll stay around. So I can also just come back and pick it up. There we go. So I haven't been stealing. <laughs> it wasn't me. Whoa. What the hell is this? This is the Love Den. The Institute Love Den. Just take off your clothes and let us synthesize your life with our new sex synths. Some pretty ghetto keyboards for all this advanced technology. Booyah! Yes. Fev Lab. F E V. F E V. That's uh, that's to do with super mutants, isn't it? The uh, the F E V virus. That reminds me of a vault from Fallout Three. Sure, now. I'm glad I've got that perk. So why is this place so messed up? I assume it turns somebody into a super mutant, but why would you lock it off and booby trap it? That doesn't make sense to me. Surely Virgil was one of the only people Guy. affected. Because if he was, how did he get away and nobody else did? Because wouldn't they have just purged it and killed everybody? I thought that was like a semen glass then, yes. We have a specimen full of semen. It's left on here. It's delicious. It's a meaty snack. For the more discerning semen in, 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 in Bider. Okay. Oh, that's a turret. Are you about to shoot me, friend? You're spinning, which means you're angry. This thing is tough, too, and I did not get any kind of crits. Oh, he hurts, but he doesn't hurt too much. Hi. <laughs> Hang on a second, he does. There we go, that thing takes better damage. 
Come on. Come on. Jesus. What? Why did he show that camera if it missed? Oh. The fuck? You dirty bastard. Eat my shit. Pork and beans and wonder glue. My favourite connection of things. Okay, let's... Let's eat some food. We got bummed a little bit. I wonder what we're going to find in here because there doesn't seem to be a reason why it should be this crazy. There we go, let's have one of them. That looks delicious. Pork and beans, that's exactly what we've come to love. Ooh, it's a terminal I can actually hack. Praise be to Yevon. So. Do I see any duds? That's the question. No. Um, there we go. Oh, great. Tries reset. The exact thing I didn't want. Oh, that's one too. Dud removed. Another one. Uh, I wish I had it on PC for, for these kind of moments. Just skip. <laughs> skip. But we suffer through. So let's have a look, shall we? Got a couple ones that end in ES. I want to pick Oasis because that makes me think of that place that. Oh, really? That sucks. Uh oh. Just guess. I'm through. There we go. Ooh, I can turn the turrets off. And then I need to, I assume, press the remote door control. Right. Puncturing pipe wrench mod. Something's moving around in here. The playthrough at this moment in time has an unofficial drinking game that is created by uh, people who are watching. Uh, essentially, every time I don't pick up duct tape, <laughs> people are taking a shot because people are really really not pleased with me not picking up duct tape because of course it's adhesive and adhesive is very useful I don't think it's that big of a deal because you can always get other things but these people are duct tape aficionados and they really do not like when people do not pick up the duct tape so this is a very very tough Look at the difference in the damage. It's got a super armoured head, apparently. These things are dangerous. Do not underestimate this enemy. The good news is... We are a critical machine at this moment. This is a lot of security for a... The supposed homicide. Accidental homicide, or whatever the... Uh, they said it was. But last night it was the Video Game Awards, or the Game Awards show or something. I don't know what this thing is. I've never watched it. I've never heard of it before today, but there was a lot of news features mentioning it. And I didn't get a chance to see it, but some of the nominees were quite interesting. And I'm curious to see what um, what was given it, because a Bloodborne was on a lot of them. And as much as I love Bloodborne, I think it's kind of stacked to be competing. Oh, it's a dead cat. Wow. And as much as I would love to see it win, I just don't think it deserves to in a lot of ways. Like, you know when you put it next to some of the biggest releases of the year? Uh, a la Metal Gear Solid 5, or Witcher 3, Fallout 4, stuff like that. I think that Bloodborne is a really tough sell to beat that kind of competition. Even though, you know, to me, it's, it's an absolutely amazing game. I just don't think the public perception of it is, is the same tier at all. Like... Souls fans are generally a pretty niche collective. Yes. 
Whereas Metal Gear Solid fans is, is massive. And, like, Witcher doesn't have the biggest fan base, but I think that all the promotion and all the good deeds that CD Projekt did meant that I think it was positively well received with the free DLC and all that stuff. It had really good marketing, really good awareness. And then, of course, Fallout 4 is a game people have been waiting for for ages. It was beating out League of Legends at one point on Twitch for like half a second. It had like 80,000 people on it. Ridiculous numbers. So, as much as I would love to see Bloodborne come out of it, I just I just can't see it. It seems kind of unlikely to me. But there were some categories I think it should definitely win. For one was Art Direction. Like, it'd surprise me if it didn't win that because I think the Art Direction in that game is wonderful. I think, if anything, it's one of the best aspects of it, because it is uh, so very good at exactly that. Let's eat some heavy food. I need to sort by weight. Has it sorted by weight the other way? Um, I wish you could loop it instead of having to go all the way fucking down. Mad annoying. Some of this is really good for its weight. Like, Deathclaw steak, not so great for its weight, but still a useful item. But there was one that was kind of bizarre to me. It was handheld and mobile as one category. Like, mobile games can compete with handhelds. Uh, that to me sounds absolutely bizarre. Because you can't compare a bunch of fucking casuals who play. I don't know, what is it called, like, Candy Crush? Which is on every single phone that exists on the planet to, like, Monster Hunter that can only really be played effectively in Japan because nobody owns a Vita. Like, you can't compare those two. The merits of a fucking, essentially, digital crack to an actual video game. Like, it's ridiculous. To me, anyway. I mean, Got it. nothing like Belt. There we go. See what I mean? That's all you gotta do, guys. Guess. Guess and win. Mm. It just seems like a bizarre thing, because I think it's really unfair to, to handhelds. Because they make legitimately great games for a limited console, and then you have these phone games that are not even games, really. They're just ways to leech people of money. They're, uh, it's like fucking bingo. You know, it's like betting, bet online. It's it's just weird, very strange. To me, anyway. Like, are they are they a game? I'm sure there's gamey elements to it, but I don't know. But as my previous report stated, we're at an impasse here. More of the same won't help. The two most promising strains of FEV have been adapted to an ideal state, but we're still missing something. I am officially echoing the team's position. The most likely progress for our research on synthetic organics requires new avenues of exploration. Additional Commonwealth subjects will not help. It's the same problem across the board. Exposure to too much radiation. We need something, someone new. There's a proposal we'll be putting forward. I am not entirely comfortable with it, but it seems the best course. Uh, this is Dr. Elliot with the official report for the Directorate from Bioscience. The date is, um, August, 2178. I'm pleased to report that, as has been the case during my tenure, crop yields exceed expectations. In point of fact, everything down here is fine, with one notable exception. Dr. Frederick has informed me that the Directorate has pre-approved research on samples of the FEV virus, which he already has in his possession. Now, I'm not one to question the Directorate, you all know that. I don't even want to know where this came from. Well, this is troubling. Dangerous, possibly. I will do my best to make sure risks are minimized. But I really do hope that the consequences are understood. Uh, 
Personal record, Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last ten years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing... It's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after... After I'm gone. Know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then... At least for years to come. After that... I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So... I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done. The lives we've taken. If there is a god... May he have mercy on us all. So it seems that they were being forced to experiment on people um, that they were taking from the wasteland, and he didn't want to do it. Which, you know, why would he? And the only way to stop the vicious cycle was to, unfortunately, fuck himself. Interesting. Please don't get any germs on me. Oh god. You realize just by talking I'm spraying invisible shit at your face. Probably getting germs on you the entire time in a nice bukkake invisible spray. That's the joy of micro like germy people. Microorganisms? I don't know what Excuse you call them. me. I've got reports to deliver. Really? Looks like you've got all the reports you need there, honey. Shaking that wagon. Um. Oh, shut up. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, though. Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. I don't think this is the utopia that we're being sold on that it is, you know. Good to see you. Feeling well today? No physical reaction. This... This tree's rotten. I don't like its fruit. In case anyone child sin prototype, why a tree runs eight like you know? Doctor. Took you long enough to find that evidence. Let me see what you've got. Fuck you. Slap her in the mouth. I'm afraid it's bad news. Since when do you know what I consider bad news? Just let me hear it. There you go. Heard this. Can't crap that bed is. I don't want to live here with a shitty beds. They lied to me. They lied to no me, shit. and I didn't even realize how far it went. All those years of loyalty for nothing. Yep, pissed away. No matter how badly it hurts, you needed to hear the truth. And for that, I thank you. I came to the Institute nope. to get away from the Brotherhood. From the whole world. I just wanted to do my research in peace. Father took me in and gave me access to cutting-edge technology that I only dreamed existed. <laughs> I became jaded. I thought that the Institute cared. That they wanted to better mankind. Maybe in their own twisted way they still Oops. <laughs> now, I can't I believe you can move the camera like this. For. And it's yes, all those fantastic if angles. They lied about Dr. Virgil. Who knows what else they've been lying about? Or what their plans Whoa. are for my work. I'll make my way back to yep. the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on Good my girl. own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. So 
tell whoever sent you yeah, no worries. that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Oh, don't talk about yourself in the third person unless you're doing it by accident. Right. So we've done that, so we can do... What's this one? I want to plug whatever this is into wherever it needs to go. Forty-five meters above, so it's this way. I don't know, this entire place, it just... I don't like it, it's too fake. It's too smiley, it's too... You will like it, we are good, we are good. If somebody's trying to tell you they're a good person, too much, chances are they're not a good person. You know, your deeds prove that kind of thing. You don't need to, to reiterate it. You have to prove it with your actions. Uh, this is higher than I can go. Hmm. It's like when people go, you know, honestly, Just as you give. all the time. He gave life to me. I'm gonna be honest. Why? Are you normally dishonest? Like, what the fuck is that? And people use that expression without even considering the the notion of honesty or dishonesty. It's just kind of something they do to frame the words before they say it. Am I stuck? Are you kidding me? I can't oh, here we go. Truly humbling it is to stand in your presence. But when people say it too much, like, you've got to wonder why they have to stress it. And a lot of the times when people stress the notion that they're being honest, mm -hmm. they're generally probably being dishonest. <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but it's... A lot of the times it's true. Like, especially people who don't normally say. If you're just somebody who uses that a lot, then maybe it is you trying to, you know, be real with people. Like, people say real talk, or... You know, and stuff like that. A lot of it's just the way that language has evolved, or certain slang has, has come about, but... If you have to stress your honesty, it implies that people don't believe you. It implies that there is doubt, and it implies that, potentially, you're lying. Unless it's, of course, just habitual. And then you might be okay. Is this where I came in? I don't know, what is this? Okay, let's plug it in, dude. Plug that shit in. Just walk away. Oh, I need to press uh, X to load the hollow tape. Uh, choose hollow. Oh god, I can't remember which one it was. Oh, why did they do this? Why would they not just pick the one? Oh no! Oh, was it no? That it's got to be that surely. Oh, thank god. Thank God. Why would they let you pick? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, what if you like got that quest and then spent nine million hours doing side quests, completely forgot about everything and came back? That is so evil. <laughs> Why would they do that? That's weird. Is this how we get out of here? I think that's what that might be, you know. I think that's the way out. So let's let's meet this last guy, shall we? And we'll see uh, where this takes us.